everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Today I am showing you a brand new product. Actually, it's available beginning March 5th, 2024. Stampin' Up! has a slew of new online exclusive products, and this is probably my favorite. It's called Filled with Fun. It's a little wagon, um, lots of cute stamps. There's two stamps that you can put in your wagon, but I've been pulling out other stamps and putting other things in my wagon. You'll have to check out my blog to see what else I put in the wagon. Um, so today I'm gonna show you this card. This is a card I created for our team swap. It was the first card I created with this. I had to make a red radio flyer wagon, of course, and that's what we did. Okay, let's start with um, the wagon itself. I have, just for the sake of the video, gone ahead and cut some things out. You're gonna want to cut um, this one from Real Red, this one from Real Red. Then you're gonna wanna cut two basic black circles and two, see if I can, if they're stuck together, yep, two smoky slate hubcaps, if you will. Okay, so we're gonna glue those together. Now we're gonna do some stamping for the other pieces. Let me get my piece of basic white. Um, of course, we need to stamp those flowers. Aren't they the cutest? And you know, um, if you make them daisies, you don't really have to color that much. <laughs> Just the centers and the stems and leaves. You don't have to color the full flowers. All right, and then we're gonna stamp that handle in pecan pie. All right, so let's bring over the cut and, cut and emboss machine. Now, the other thing that I have done is embossed. Oh, I forgot. Okay, let me finish my sentence. I've embossed this piece back here with the basics embossing um, folder. So I did that ahead of time. The other thing I forgot, the cutest part I think of this wagon is the banner. So we're gonna stamp the little banner in Daffodil Delight. Okay, did I get it all? I think I did. Let's bring it over. All right, let's line it all up on our cut and emboss machine. Now I haven't colored. You can color before or after, whichever you want. I think we'll color after. All right, we're gonna put that there and I am gonna get my post-it tape. When I run several things through at once, sometimes they jump around and I don't even notice. So we're gonna just use some post-it tape to hold these guys in place. And then we'll do the little handle. Now you should really look through your stamps and your dies and see what other things you can put in your wagon. Um, I'll give you a hint. Easter is coming up. The wagon is very cute in pastel colors with eggs and bunnies in it. Um, there's also things like my million dollar stamp set, the Taco Fiesta. You could do a wagon full of tacos. I think that would be fun. I don't know, the, the possibilities really are endless. All right, I'm gonna color the stems with Granny Apple Green, and I'm starting with the dark. Let's move over to the light. I think I like the light a little bit better. Granny Apple Green, and I like to start with the light and then go back and add in just a little bit of dark. Um, of course, the dark color is fine too if you just wanna use that by itself. But as you can see, this doesn't take long. And I made these for, for a swap. So if I did them for a swap, you know that they're easy because I don't do hard, hard things when I have to do swaps. A swap is when you make several of one card and you trade it with other people who've made several of their own card. And then you end up with lots of different cards. So, you know, when you do that, you have to, you know, kind of stick with a simple design. Okay, so Daffodil Delight, light in the center. And that's all the coloring you have to do. All right, let's adhere. Uh, yeah, let's I go. have found the best way to adhere this is to use our foam adhesive strips. They're long and skinny. And I'm just gonna take my paper snips and cut a couple like that. And then I can just peel that off, maybe. There we go, we've got three, we only need one. And I'm gonna put that on the bottom. I am not sure what is happening here. Okay, there we go. Put that along the bottom, peel off the backing, 
and then you're going to stick that on like that. Now you got to get it centered. Okay, let me pull it down so I can get my head right above it. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. And we're going to put just a little bit of liquid glue right there. And we'll adhere this to the back side like that. And then we're gonna put some glue dots on the back of our little banner. And we'll put that right there. Now I'm gonna to wait to adhere this. Well, let's, I guess we could go ahead and put it on here. Just set that right on there. Now the wheels, we will wait. I'm gonna set it up here to dry, but we can go ahead and glue on those little hubcaps. If you have silver foil, you could use silver foil for the hubcaps as well, or you can do like I did and um, use Smoky Slate and add a wink of Stella. All right, your take your pig tool is gonna to come in handy for this, uh, this set i used it quite a bit i've got my sketched plaid stamp set and a piece of daffodil delight and i'm just gonna stick this right there and you know i made my paper too small to use my mark my magnet so i'm just gonna use a little a little piece of adhesive on the back and we'll stamp it we're not going to use the whole piece we're just going to use part of it so i'm not going to worry too much about it being perfectly placed we're gonna cut it to uh, four and a fourth by one and a half. So we just need a strip. All right, so get your, your stamp inked up and your paper stamped. And we'll move that out of the way and we'll just cut this one and a half inches by four and a fourth, which I think it already is. All right, I think we're ready. We're gonna start with a thick basic white card base and that piece that we um, embossed ahead of time with a basics embossing folder. We're gonna put it right there and I see that there's something hiding in my card. <laughs> Not sure where that guy came from. He must've been left over from my swaps. Um, and I, we're gonna adhere this Daffodil Delight piece down here like this. I'm gonna use my tear and tape to adhere my ribbon. I find that tear and tape is really good for adhering ribbon. Okay, and again, you can use your take your pick tool to peel that backing off like that. And we'll take our black and white check ribbon. And then you just want to trim off. Let's see if my scissors aren't gunky. There we go. All right. They worked. All right. Now for our star of the show, we're going to grab some regular dimensionals. And put those on the back. Like that. And we're going to put this guy right here. Okay. And then glue, we'll just glue those wheels underneath. And again, your take your pick tool is really helpful. Okay, isn't that just the cutest? Now, I've got a, just a strip of basic white. I believe it's three-fourths by four. And we're gonna stamp the sentiment, you make my heart bloom. And it looks like maybe my piece is a little bit too big, so we'll trim it down. Okay, bring back my trimmer. And there we go. Two more dimensionals. And We'll put that right across there. Now, one last thing I'm gonna add are some of our brass butterflies. They are so fun, and I thought that they would make a great addition to our little springy card. Our team swaps theme was spring-related, 
cards. And so I thought blooming flowers in a wagon was a perfect card for our team swap. Okay, guys, now remember that this bundle is coming out on uh, March 5th. Um, I have made the video a little bit ahead of time, so you might have to wait a few days to get it. But otherwise, I highly recommend it. It's just adorable. Make sure you check my blog. I've got four other, maybe five other, filled with love projects for you. And let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.